It's a beautiful day in Tennessee. And Diesel, it's time to get up. We're here at Jaden John's today. Got here last night. If you haven't seen that vlog yet, go and check it out. Let's go see what they're up to. What a beautiful day. You wanna go play with Lucy, Diesel? Here. Hey, you gotta go in this way right here. Sit up down. Get in there. Get in there. Go find her. Where'd she go? Did she go inside? This is their front yard. Isn't this amazing? It's beautiful here. Hey Lucy, come here. Diesel, don't scare her away. <laughs> Lucy. Let's go say hi to her. Diesel, don't pee on the house. Hey Lucy. Hey Lucy. This is Jaden John's dog. It's like mini diesel, except it's a girl. Waffles for breakfast. Oof, as I like knock down the table. They look delicious. Where's mommy? Maybe we this stuff. Oh, that smells like a Christmas tree. We can't have a Christmas tree while we eat breakfast. Christmas tree? Is it Christmas time down here? You guys? <laughs> yeah, I guess we just really love it. I needed a candle. <laughs> I don't know. So you want a Christmas like, look, tree? Make it smell better in here. <laughs> We just loaded up this stove onto John's big dually here. I showed you it last night. This is his dually that he just got. Putting her to use right away. John just walked up to Josh and says, here, you're gonna need these gloves. We're moving a stove. I was like, is this the first time you're telling him this? Yeah. This is like, here, you're moving this. That's what I came down here for. <laughs> right. 1,500 miles. Move Glad I could help. <laughs> <laughs> you got like the same shades as me. Oh, oh yeah, new shades? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that too? Well, yeah, that's what I've heard. But he wears them, and you wear them. I wear them. Y'all wear them, then it's changing. See? They're not dew shades. No, they're not. This thing is a beast. It's got a 454. It's in mint shape. For a 95, this is in great shape. John just got this truck yesterday, actually. Yeah. Four wheel drive. Technically, cab. technically it's six wheel drive. Technically, yes. <laughs> yeah, everything right. works on it. Just off the edge of their property here, drops down into the bush here. This is the kind of property I wanted. You know, you can't even see the neighbors. They have neighbors around here, but you wouldn't know it. I love this property. They got a garage back here. They got a Ford sitting right here, sitting there. Nice. Are we just throwing that whole oven in here? Is that where that's going? No, no, it's going to the oh. like, Goodwill or kind of. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to throw that whole thing. I was getting all excited to throw that thing over the ledge oh. into there. We just went here to the dump to uh, throw some garbage away. Nice little small town, Tennessee. Absolutely. Love these you, were, you don't you get a nice comfortable chair for your porch. Can you see that chair? <laughs> porch sitting is a serious, <laughs> serious thing down here. <laughs> that is some serious. That's business. a serious porch sitting. <laughs> see every house here does have a porch. Yeah. At least one chair. No, nope, wait. Oh, they must be new. Nobody lives in that one. Either. Oh, nobody lives there. Okay, that makes sense. It's just beautiful down here. Right so we're downtown in their little town here. Nice old buildings and whatnot. So I'm just parked here in their driveway, and I think John and I today are gonna figure out how to uh, work the water system on this trailer because I haven't even looked at it yet. It's all filled with antifreeze right now because the whole trailer is winterized still. We're gonna try to dewinterize it today and figure out that whole process. Otherwise, I gotta try and figure that out by myself when I'm down in Florida. Let's be honest, I'll probably mess it up. We just filled the trailer tank up with water. We're trying to figure out this water system here. We're uh, slowly getting it. I gotta put this filter into the back here now. This is our water filter. Goes into there. And then we gotta flush this entire system of all the antifreeze that's in the lines. This will be a lot easier next year when I actually know what I'm doing. 
We think we got this figured out. He's gonna turn the water on here. We now have it connected to the city water connection here to pressurize the whole system. We're just putting the anode rod or the anode rod, whatever you call it, into the hot water tank right now. We've got the whole water system cleared out of antifreeze. We've got it all ready to go. We just gotta get the hot water tank going now. So you haven't turned the water, the hot water tank on at all. We just no. filled the lines. We've gotta make sure there's water in here first before we, okay. So what we do here is we pull this little thing out, see if there'll be some water squirting out. No. I don't know how far it's gonna go. It's gonna go, ooh, probably. No, there's no water in here you. yet. So we gotta figure out why there's no water in here yet and get water in here. And then we can turn on. The tank we've been figuring this other system out here and at first it was a little tricky basically if there's pressure in the city water coming in then the regardless if you have this pump on it it yeah. doesn't it doesn't come on. It bypasses it, the pump and uses the pressure of the, yeah. the hose it's supply so I guess that pump is pressure sensitive too Regardless I if it was so, on, yeah. it wouldn't turn on when you turned it on because it already had pressure coming in from the city That's water. That's right, yeah. So we're just figuring this whole system out. Now, like I said, we, there's no water in the hot water tank yet. I gotta figure out why, because I have no idea. There's a fire under my camper. <laughs> we got this hot water tank working finally. We had to call in and find out where the valve was. The valve was in a secret compartment inside. Yeah. We had to get tools out to unscrew it and open yeah. it up so we could open the valves up so that we could fill it with water. And then this thing fires up uh, with the pilot switch. And now we got some hot water. We're just testing it out over here now. See if this water's hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice hot water. What? Nice hot water. It's got a little diesel bath and everything, John was just saying. <laughs> so all you have to do is just <laughs> sit still right here, put a rug down or whatever. If you're on pavement, you wouldn't need to, and just give them a bath. It's only 2.30, so it's not really that late. It's not as late as you think it is. Oh, man, I felt like this took all day. No, yeah, it took, oh, like, really an hour and a half, maybe. Hour and a half? That's not too bad. The next question is, can you run a chainsaw? Chainsaw? I don't know. <laughs> have you ever done it? I have, yeah. Well, we're what? thinking about going in the woods, and there's two chainsaws. We're gonna cut some wood. <laughs> if you want to. Sure, yeah. Are y'all hungry? I'm yeah. getting hungry, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. hungry. <laughs> we're gonna do that, then we'll yeah. get a chainsaw. <laughs> Alright, food first. Okay. Food first. <laughs> Alright. So we're about to go adventure into the bush. With some chainsaws. <laughs> John's got his rubber boots on, because he's uh, scared of the snakes. Heck yeah! <laughs> I seen one yesterday. Now you know why. You know one yesterday before I got here? Yeah, so I got me some. There's snakes here, just so you know. Hatchet. Got the hatchet here, nice and sharp. Just sharpened it. Vlog camera. Gotta have that. Necessary tool. Got two cans of spray paint. Mark my territory. Or we can just bring diesel, he can mark it for us. <laughs> uh, I'll do it. Uh, I volunteer. You volunteer? I volunteer my service. I will mark their property. Your house is that way then? Yeah, it's that way. Okay, so we've come all the way around. Now we're going back towards the house on the other side of the property. So what we're doing is we are clearing a path around the edge of their property. It's gonna be something like this, what we're walking down right now, except just on their property. We just gotta, 
we got to go find out where the edge of their property is over there so that we go in a straight line towards it. Just so they can walk their property line and also ride quads around. I guess to check the property lines and whatnot, so you know where the borders are. It's very tough to tell. If they didn't have all these yellow or these uh, pink strings everywhere, it'd be impossible to tell where your property ended. No idea where we are. I know that the house is that way, and I'm loving every second of this. I got my stick here to clear, to clear spider webs. We saw a snake before. It was a black one. What do you guys call it? A black demon? Yeah. Well, it wasn't a, a black racer. Black racer. Right, but it wasn't one of those. Black racer. But it wasn't. That's a, okay. That's a, it was a big snake, though. Josh didn't think it was. I say it's at least that long. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was about three feet, three, three and a half feet, something like that. That's pretty big. It was pretty big, yeah. I saw it before we stepped on it, and then I sort of scared it away. It was the only snake we've seen so far. I think I've seen one. He saw another one. I didn't, we didn't see it, but. Nobody but John saw it. What are you trying to say? Yeah. So now we're being very careful with our steps. Ah. Spider webs everywhere. Yeah, you see the pink there? That's the edge of their property. Caterpillar? I got something on my back. I thought you did. Huh. Yeah, it's just woods. Tennessee woods. Oh. <laughs> so I just had my first shower in the trailer. And it actually was pretty good. Had hot water throughout the entire shower. I was sort of running low on hot water towards the end of it, but I was in there for a good you know, five minutes or so. So it doesn't have that big of a hot water tank, but it was actually pretty comfortable and pretty spacious in there. Look at Diesel. Having a good time, Diesel? I'm so surprised he hasn't figured out he could jump over that if he wanted to. Or maybe you know you can, but you're just being good. <laughs> Stay. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Stay down. You gotta stay off the fence. Hey, Lucy. Hi. Did you miss Diesel? They're so good together. Here's everybody relaxing. We gotta go get that chainsaw yet. We did. Uh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. That's how exhausted we are. <laughs> what happens to three truck drivers? <laughs> <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> He's stuck. It's just ate you. <sighs> what happens to three truck drivers when they walk in the woods? Yeah, so exhausted. exhausted. I know. We were walking through the woods. How long do you think we were out there for? At least two and a half hours. And we walked around their entire property. Yeah. <laughs> Towards the end, we we're like, we're truck drivers. And I feel it right now. <laughs> My feet are sore. How's it going? It's going diesel. It's going down now, but. So John's here fogging for mosquitoes. This is a nice little thing you can get from Amazon. Or Home Depot. Or Home Depot, you can just walk into Home Depot and get one of these, yeah. a little fogger. This one is pretty hot, so I don't need to be plugged in. But, and that's another thing, once you have it so hot, you don't have to have it all plugged in. You can walk away from it. Or you can buy the propane cans, the small cans. And it'll keep the mosquitoes away for eight hours, eight you say. Hours. And it worked really well last night. That's pretty cool. Definitely something I'm gonna need to invest into. <laughs> it's nice when you're gonna be outside for a while. So yeah. worth it. That's doing it on its own. So we're about to make some s'mores here. And they actually have special 
Uh, and they actually have a special s'more marshmallows. They're square. Uh -huh, so they fit. That's incredible. Amazing. I've never seen that. We have just bought them for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so John's going to test it out there. Get his nice to golden brown perfection. Show us how it's done. That's right. John definitely seems like the kind of low and slow roaster. <laughs> like, John might not have a s'more for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> That's like my dad. My dad is the perfect marshmallow roaster. I'm so envious, <laughs> envious of those people. I always get like too excited and put it way by the fire and then it catches on fire and it's not really that great. I, know, I always get to try to get it done too fast. I know. See what kind of marshmallow roasting skills I have. Yeah. Oh. Pick your poison. Man, I feel like I haven't made a s'more in years. Why? Yeah, I can't remember the last time I made a s'more. I know, me either. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh. I took your chair. That's okay. <laughs> oh, you're getting good. You're getting toasty over here, Josh. Oh, that's a beautiful golden brown. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, always! <laughs> Alright, now that we got it toasted to golden perfection, we take it off of here very, very carefully. Oh. And we put it onto this wafer. Just like this. You see? It's not focusing, but that's okay. Hey, focus. Well, it's got a s'more in its face. Can you blame him? <laughs> and then you take this. It's got some chocolate on it. And you take this. And here's the, the, the secret part. You smush it together. Just a little bit. And there you go. You got a s'more. Eat up, man. Eat up, man. You go. Don't let me stop you, man. You go. So, it's dinner time for Diesel. It's bedtime for me. I'm tired. Jade and John just went to bed in their house. I'm gonna pull down that bed there right now and go to bed myself. And tomorrow, we have to leave. It's kind of sad. I had such a good time here with Jade and John. I know you guys are watching the video right now. Thank you so much for your for your hospitality, for feeding me, for letting me park my travel trailer in your yard here, for letting me tag along with you all day. We went through to an adventure to town. We went through an adventure through their, their woods here near their house. So I hope you liked today's vlog and I hope you go follow Jade and John as well. And their link is down below in the description. It's the first link down there. Go and give them a follow. Go check out their channel. They have 20 some thousand followers and I believe they deserve a lot more than that. They're uh, some of my best friends. Drove all the way down here to Tennessee just to hang out with them and you know what? I would do it again. They always treat me so well when I come down. So if you go check out their channel, it would mean a lot to me as well. So I'll see you tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. You know the drill. Down below in the description, there's links to past vlogs of mine underneath Jaden John's link. You'll see there's more links down there. You click the show, show more button. Whole bunch more stuff down there for you if you want to go check it out. Tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, the vlog, whatever we're doing tomorrow, will be up. We're headed from here to Florida. I don't know if we'll make it all the way to where we're staying, but we should make it into the state of Florida, I'm hoping. We're going to be going through Georgia, and it'll be nice actually going through there in this instead of my semi. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you join me. I'll see you then.